Ooh, we fixed our new weapon. The broken air gun is now the Magnum air gun. Apparently my IQ was high enough for it. <laughs> and I was thinking to just go heal just before starting the new episode. And in the meantime, we actually get ourselves a new weapon. <laughs> Who would have guessed? But anyway, the Magnum air gun is better than the stun gun, if that is not obvious. So, here we go. Jeff is a little bit stronger now. Now, let's go start the episode. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Dreeks here, and welcome back to Earthbound. We are three people now, as you can see. <laughs> Ever since last episode, Jeff joined our party, making us even stronger. And that is something we need in order to solve the zombie problem here in three. And I was afraid that was going to happen. <laughs> but no matter. This is taken care of quickly. Unless stuff like that start to happen, but still shouldn't take too long. Okay, where were we? Oh, that small fry is enough to actually level up. <laughs> messy, messy start of this episode. Let's just go. We are going into this little tunnel over here in order to find out what the problem is here in Threed. And yes, indeed, it is going to be your sanctuary related. <laughs> that is obvious. However, it's not going to be the your sanctuary location we saw in Winters. And that is just teasing us for later. Here is actually the ultimate source of the zombie problem, you might say. So we're obviously also going to find some fights down here. And that means Nas will attack, Paula will do magic, and Jeff can hopefully also do something now that he has a stronger weapon. Okay, that works pretty good. And that works even better. <laughs> yeah, Jeff can do decent damage now. And he also can take a lot of hits. <laughs> Still above 50 HP, so he does not need any healing yet. But there's more people in here, so let's fight some more. Another dog and another zombie. Yeah, let's just do the same. Stop attacking Jeff. As if they know he has the lowest HP. <laughs> okay. Now Jeff does need some healing. Level 18 for Paula. Okay. And 16 for Jeff. For Jeff, the most important... Um, Stat is always his IQ. <laughs> Another increase in two. But anyway, like I said, Jeff needs some healing now. And in the meantime, we can actually take a look at this over here. This functions as the presence of this area. So we can get items from them. Ta-da! It's a skip sandwich deluxe. <laughs> Same deal as a skip sandwich, just a little bit stronger. Heals you more. And since we just used the healing item, thank you for giving me a new one, game. <laughs> Let's just see what we find at the other side of this tunnel. Empty room. So, easy present. Ta-da! <laughs> and this time we have a silver bracelet. And I don't think it's going to be surprising if I say that is actually stronger than what we have right now. So, let's give it to Paula. Increase your defense by 5. Because Paula is the magic user of the party and therefore the most important party member. <laughs> I always like to try to keep her alive the most. So any defense item first goes to her. That's usually my uh, strategy in this game. Only once I find equal defensive capabilities. And nice of you to actually post at the door, guys. <laughs> but the game was nice enough to give me a green swirl, so <laughs> I can get a head start. But anyway, to finish that story, like I said, usually I go for Paula first whenever I find an increase of defensive items. And only once I find equal items, then the rest of the party members actually uh, get them in this order. Ness and then Jeff. Jeff is still the least important party member in the party. He is still a valuable asset, of course, but still. 
When it comes to equipment, I think he's the least important one. <laughs> In that case, this fight is over. Could be a level up for Ness right now. Yeah, I was kind of expecting that. <laughs> After Paula and Jeff leveling up, Ness couldn't have been far behind. And with this, we learn a stronger PK Gaming. PK Gaming Beta is now a thing. Pretty much the same thing, just stronger. <laughs> also costs more, of course, so... Psst, side note. This guy's the reason why you want a jar of fly honey. So if you don't have it, quickly go get it. <laughs> Georg. Georg. Since you had fly honey, I considered you a friend. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. Okay, mini boss time. Mini barf. And if you don't have the fly honey with you, don't try engaging him. Just saying. <laughs> but other than that, this guy should be pretty easy. He is pretty annoying when it comes to status ailments, but besides that, I think fighting him is not really that difficult. He should be weak against fire, so let's start using PK fire on him. 81, okay. I was expecting a little bit more. Oh yeah, this, uh, this is the annoying part. <laughs> he will use his stinky breath in order to get us in crying status. Making it really difficult to hit your attacks. So let's switch to magic with Ness. Because magic is actually not affected by crying, so that you can still safely use. Something I was planning on doing with Paula anyway. <laughs> that didn't work, so thank you. Ooh, awesome. 180 damage. Yeah, and as Jeff is proving right here, if you're crying, you usually always miss your attacks. And since I can switch the magic easily, I don't feel like healing it. This is not the kind of status ailment that actually um, keeps on going. The moment the fight is over, the crying will also be over. So I don't feel obligated to heal it. Oh, he's still not dead. He's a lot more strong than I thought he was. But I still have PP, so let's attack you some more. And there we go. The whole party was crying, but we still won. <laughs> Level 19 for Paula. Nothing too spectacular, it looks like. And this is the spectacular part. <laughs> PK Fire Beta. Jeff is level 17. And level 18. And that was it. Okay, we have a stronger PK Fire now. I wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. Kjork, Kjork. Master Belch? Okay, it looks like this guy was just an underling. Yeah, he was not a mini bar for nothing. <laughs> of course, there's going to be a bigger one later on. But in the meantime, let's go find out where we are. You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? There's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I happen to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? Oh, this guy's a vendor. Um, oh, he also sells calorie sticks and croissants, so... Could be handy, but I think I'm good on healing items at the moment, so... Ah, I just remembered. There's a village with many interesting people just ahead. You should go there and visit. I heard the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. Oh, Saturn Valley. That's apparently where this road is heading. Perhaps that location knows more about the curse that Threet is currently under. The zombie curse. In the meantime, let's go heal up. And let's speculate on what we can find. A mysterious village with quote-unquote interesting people. <laughs> that is not on the map. And we have an adjacent village called Threet that is currently under a zombie curse. There's got to be some form of relationship there. So, magic butterfly taken care of. Don't really have a whole lot of PP, but still. Probably something we can solve in the next village. Should be a hotel there, so. <laughs> Let's see if we can get there. In this area, we can actually find a couple of new types of enemies, so. Let's get ready to not cut out battles. <laughs> Since we need to show these new enemies off. Here we have ant enemies and frog enemies. The ants are not really new, but they are recolors. So they are going to be a little bit stronger. The frog guys are entirely new. I think they're weak against freeze, so let's go use that on the armored frog. 
Should do a lot of damage. Yeah, 400 damage. <laughs> Indeed. They are weak against freeze. No, didn't even work. And these guys don't really have a whole lot of HP, so normal attacking should be enough for the ants. Unless you start summoning. <laughs> and it'll still take a little bit longer. Otto, you take care of the rest. And there we go. 1600 experience. Almost 1700. Jeff is a little bit hurting, so let's go heal him up. He's under 50 HP, so... Let's see what we can use. Um... Gallery stick. So I didn't bite for nothing. <laughs> Enough to heal him fully. Now let's go open up this present. A bomb. Okay. Um, let's give that to Jeff. It's more his thing. Yeah, he has room for it. There we go. Next new enemy. Because there should be crocodile enemies here as well. But not quite yet, it seems. <laughs> Some ants and a zombie. A farmer zombie, I'm pretty sure this guy is. Also a recolor. But since there's four enemies, let's go use an attack that attacks everybody. And the rest will attack normally. You should be able to take out everybody in one hit. At least the ants. Yeah, indeed. Over in one move. Thank you, PK Gaming. <laughs> Fourteen hundred, and therefore Jeff levels up to nineteen. Everything increases by one, and HP by eight. And that is something Jeff needs because he's uh, dying the most so far for everybody, <laughs> or at least almost. I know there's one other type of enemy that can appear here. The protein drink I can keep with me for now. Okay, here's more standard battles. Frog and ants. Something we already know. Level 23 for Ness. And 20 for Paula. Ooh, awesome. When it comes to leveling up with Paula, the increase of PP. For her, that's the most important thing. <laughs> Let me be clear on that once and for all. The most important stats to increase. In the case of Ness, that is HP and attack strength. For Paula, that is obviously PP. And for Jeff, it is IQ. I'm not talking about the fourth member yet. <laughs> we haven't seen him yet. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, there's a photo opportunity here. Keep on forgetting about that. <laughs> I have a list with me where all of these locations are. But I keep on forgetting to look at them. <laughs> I was going to this waterfall for a different reason. But indeed, there's also a photograph here. Although you can't really miss this one, because you need to go here anyway at some point. But for now, there's actually nothing we can do here. If we go into this waterfall, we can actually find a little bit of dialogue. However, the dialogue is completely empty, as you can see. There seems to be somebody behind here, but for now, he does not want to talk to us yet. Just remember, this is here. This mysterious waterfall. We'll be returning here later. Jeff, 4 HP, really? <laughs> Such a weakling. Oh, Paula's not really that much stronger. <laughs> 
poor Jeff. I'm scoffing at him because of him being so weak. And Paul gives an attack that's even weaker. <laughs> okay. At least he levels up, so it should be a little bit stronger now. Let's go continue. Like I said, the waterfall is something we can't really do yet. So we need to go in this cave first. Because this way we can actually find out what we need to do with the waterfall. Bottle rocket. Nice of you to take that, Paula. However, it is not yours. <laughs> Jeff, that is your thing. Let's go see what we can find here. The mysterious Saturn Valley. Like the men at the beginning of this area talked about. Interesting people we can apparently find here. And how interesting are these people? Well, very interesting. Music already gives it away a little bit. It's a little bit wonky. <laughs> here we find Saturn Valley. And the people of uh, Saturn are... Not really human, I must say. <laughs> Sir? We feel groove. Oh man, this dialogue's going to be hell. <laughs> Hi-ho, me, Mr. Saturn. This place, all are Mr. Saturn. Okay, I'm going to assume you guys are aliens from Saturn. <laughs> what are you guys doing here on Earth? I'm Mr. Saturn, Zoom, and I can repair your body. Boing. Do you want me to operate on you? Ding. Ah, this guy's apparently um, the healer of this area. The doctor, you might say. Any status ailments you have, you can actually cure right over here. That said, there's actually also a way to heal your HP and PP in this area, of course. The hotel, you might say. And that is actually this area right over here. There's also a phone here. But most importantly, this place is the hotel. Do you want slumber? Yep, I want slumber. <laughs> Weird, mysterious aliens living on Earth aside. Luckily, all of the regular areas that we're used to, like hospitals, hotels and shops, are still here. <laughs> they just look a little bit different. Speaking of which, there's indeed also a shop here. Let's go see if we can find that. It should be in the higher area, actually. Oh, more of you guys. I'm pretty sure we need to talk to one of you. We look like same. I give you special thing. Not now. Zoom. I give you one on the way back. Boing. Bye. Later. Okay, it's apparently not you. So, Boing. You have $380. We trade secret herb. So, Boing... You have $780. We trade Horn of Life. Okay, that's for later. Base secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password? I tell. Below men say... Say password. Then stand still. Wait for three minutes. See, I told you we needed to talk to one of you guys. <laughs> Sorry, scary guy. Boing. Grapefruit falls. Sorry, sick. Barfy. Go and la la la. Ding. Scary. Okay, you're no help. <laughs> At least the third guy helped. He actually told us we need to go stand still behind the waterfall for three minutes. And that is how you get through there. And I'm also pretty sure it's actually required to talk to this guy because I'm pretty sure it otherwise won't trigger. But first, let's go explore Saturn Valley a little bit more. This place is actually the shop, like I promised. There's also an ATM here. Luckily, there is. Even that looks different, but still, even on Saturn, they have ATMs. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You can sell too. I am Mr. Saturn. Boing. Can do all for you. What do you want? Zoom. Let's see what you have. Because um, this is still a new village. And therefore he has stronger equipment. Bionic slingshot is a weapon that both 
Ness and Paula can use. Uh, allow me to give it to Paula for now. Ooh, it's a big increase. You can buy the frying pan that we're not going to use. <laughs> what more do you have, sir? Oh, this guy actually also sells great charms. That's a very powerful piece of equipment for this part of the game. So, definitely not going to skip out on that. It would be nice if Ness actually had some room to keep things. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go buy the silver bracelet too. Could still give that to Jeff. Ness would also be nice, but he's full. No, oh, speaking of being full... <laughs> Okay, I concede. I'll buy Escargo Express first. <laughs> Luckily, there's also a phone here, so... Oh yeah, you need to climb this ladder for it. Hey sis, I'm full again. I need you to get a few things for me. <laughs> Go me. Three whole party members are still running out of room. Come on, hurry up. You're draining video time here. <laughs> okay, there you are. What can we get rid of? Backstage pass. Should have ditched that earlier, to be honest. <laughs> Let's make some room in Jeff's inventory too. Boiled egg. Not too sure why I have that. <laughs> For sale sign. I've shown off how it worked, so... Don't really... Uh, have any need of using that anymore. Okay, I'm back. This time with some room to keep things. Let's buy the great charm. Now that Ness is able to carry one, let's give him one. And of course the silver bracelet was still a thing. Yeah, you buy that. And let's also buy one for Jeff. Forty-four, okay. So, one more thing to do. The final option in the menu, the red ribbon. Obviously something only Paula can carry. And she's the only one who actually had some room for it. <laughs> And that makes our party up to speed. The most powerful equipment for everybody up to this point. And therefore we are ready to take on this area. Saturn Valley. I must say, it's a mysterious place. However, how this place relates to the curse in Threed. And how this will lead to the third Your Sanctuary location, we can't really tell yet. And that is something for next time. Because this is enough for today. Thank you all for watching, and next time we will continue in the caves surrounding Saturn Valley, finding out what we need to do to solve Chapter 3. <laughs> See you folks next time. Treeks out!